What's up everyone, it's Adam from Life of Adam. Today I'm back with a brand new life growing tip video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to properly rotate shifts as a lifeguard. This is very important because if you don't know the details, you don't know the step-by-step, -step, number one, you'll look inexperienced, and number two, confusion will take place, and things might happen when you're not paying attention. So now before I dive into this, if you guys are new to the channel, make a bunch of lifeguarding content about how to pass the course, how to pass the pretest, basically everything you need to know about becoming a successful lifeguard. So definitely consider subscribing and liking the video if you're new to the channel to show your support and to also be updated on all my videos. Now also, if you guys are thinking about becoming a lifeguard for the first time and you're worried about passing the swimming pretest at the very beginning, I do have a course down below in the description that will walk you through everything, give you the best strategy to pass on your first try. So if you do that, I guarantee you'll have no nerves and you'll go into it knowing exactly what to do. Okay, so there's kind of four different parts to rotating and like changing shifts as a lifeguard. The first part is obviously the timing. Everyone needs to be on the same page. I know some pools, beaches, lakes, they have different like shifts. So some places might rotate every hour. Some places might change every like 30 minutes, 20 minutes. It depends obviously on where you work. But the main tip and the main point is that you all are on the same page about when this takes place. So I highly recommend if you don't have one already to get a waterproof watch. You can get one on like Walmart, Amazon for very cheap. You can get it for like 10, $15. Just have it on your wrist so that you can keep track of time so that you can anticipate when your ship's about to end and when your ship's about to start. Now the second important tip is all about your eyes, where you're looking at. Although you're getting off your shift and you're excited that you're going on break, you have to be watching the pool at all times. Even when you're transferring the tube, you're giving the station to someone else. So what I mean by this is what I used to do is I used to be on a lifeguard chair. The person that was taking my place would walk towards the lifeguard stand. I'd be scanning the pool. I'd be watching the pool. And even though this person is about to take my place, even when I give them the tube and I climb down, I'm still scanning the water and I'm doing that until they get back up and they're in position to take over. It's better to have two sets of eyes watching the same area than no sets of eyes. So you'd be surprised of how many things might take place during during this transition period. During my six years of lifeguarding, I've definitely seen some things happen during the breaks and when people are coming on and off their shifts. Now, another tip is all about the transfer. What I like to do is when I'm holding the rescue tube, this is basically at a pool, what I like to do is I like to climb down from the stand holding the rescue tube, scanning the pool, and waiting for the person to take my place to climb up and sit down. Then I'll undo the strap over my shoulder, I'll give them the rescue tube, and then basically they'll have it. I stand there and I wait for them to get settled, to put it around their shoulder and to get comfortable. And then once they do that, I can walk away to my break, or I can walk over to the next stand that I'm taking over, let's say we're rotating, and it'll do the same thing. They'll, they'll climb down, they'll hand me the tube once I'm climbed up and I'm ready to go. So those are basically like the core elements of it. Obviously there's gonna be different types of stations. There could be like lower chairs. It could be like standing or roaming stations where you don't have to worry about climbing down and climbing up a tower. It could be in the water station. So basically you just like swim over, you climb out of the pool, you hand them the tube and then wait for them to jump in and start guarding. It's kind of basically, it doesn't really matter or what kind of rotation, what kind of station it is. It's just all about eyes, transfer, waiting for people to be ready in position before you go off and you go on your break. So I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Definitely consider subscribing and liking the video. If you're new to the channel, to help show your support and to be up to date with all my uploads. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.